Hi everyone, this is Callie with craftingcallie.wordpress.com. Thanks for joining me today. It's Friday, so I'm finally getting a chance to make another card. Um, I decided to use mostly Stampin' Up! products for this card. I haven't used Stampin' Up! products in a while. Um, this stamp set is called Happy Scenes, and it coordinates with this Hearth and Homes Thinlets dies. This is a Stampin' Up! holiday catalog here, and I just wanted to show you all the stamps that are available in this set. And, um, and I wanted to show you here that if you buy it together, you can save 15% um, as a bundle purchase. So it's a good savings if you decide that you want to um, get this set. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, uh, feel free to reach out to me. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and can help you with the purchase. Um, I don't advertise myself to sell the product, so that's my fault, but um, I'm just not much of a, a seller, I guess. Um, so since this is my first time, uh, the die is sticking to the paper a bit, so I'm having to use my piercing tool to get it out. And I really like the embossed um, decor or um, details on this thinlet. So I pulled out my Misty to stamp this and I decided I wanted to use two colors, um, Early Espresso as well as Garden Green to kind of add a little bit of green to the foliage on these trees. Um, you'll see here that um, it doesn't work too well with the green but it turns out looking um, just good enough for me. So here I stamp with the Early Espresso. I'm going to clean that off with my absorber and then I'm going to stamp it in green and kind of clean off the bottom uh, edge there and just try to get the the green to kind of show up on the leaves which it didn't show up too much but and then I have some tumbled glass distress ink that I'm going to um, kind of color in the background with and you'll notice here um, it was completely unintentional but the red from the brown early espresso ink um, kind of bleeds out and it kind of gives it this kind of a, a, a hue to the trees like like it's almost like a sunset you know I love that about some of the cards that I've made in the past so I was completely okay with this I thought it gave it a really cool effect and now I have a Versa marker it's just Versa ink in a pen form I found it on Amazon so um, if you decide you want to get it I hope you can find it there um, if you can't find it anywhere else um, I'm just going to use it to add some snow to um, some of the areas on the foliage there that are left intentionally for snow on the stamped image and then I'm going to emboss it with some opaque white embossing powder so I'll emboss that and then I'll go ahead and use my uh, window die that I had cut out previously to kind of trace with a pencil where I want the scene to be in my window. And then I'm going light, to lightly draw a pencil mark around it so that I can cut it out. And now I'm using my Stampin' Up! two-way glue pen to um, glue this window piece to um, the background that I just previously cut out. I'm going to add a block over this to help it dry and help the frames there in the center to stay in place. And then I'm going to prepare my card base. This is Sahara Sand um, Stampin' Up! ink, um, Stampin' Up! paper, I'm sorry. And then um, there is this snow uh, stamp that I'm going to use and stamp in Versamark ink all the way around the outside of the card to kind of add a um, snow look to this uh, card base. And then I'm going to again add some white opaque embossing powder and then emboss the entire thing. Now I don't show it but I do actually use my um, embossing buddy or embossing powder tool to make sure that um, the powder doesn't stick in areas that I don't want. I decided here that I wanted to add some foam tape to my window scene so I'm going to use some 3M foam tape to prop that up and I'll add that towards the center top portion of my card so that I have some room for a sentiment towards the bottom. Now for the window ledge, I didn't want it to be plain stark white, so I decided to use some linen thread here. It's a Stampin' Up! product as well, and it's just a really thin twine, and um, I love using it for embellishing things like this. So I'm going to tie a bow, and you'll notice that it's a little loose in the back, but that's okay. I just get the bow to where I want it, and then what I'm going to do is add some adhesive to the back, 
and then I'll use that adhesive to kind of um, hold down that extra twine that I have in the back. And then once I'm done adhering that extra twine down, I'll add another layer of adhesive over that and then go ahead and add this piece to um, the window that's already on the card. It just helps secure the thread in place and then I'll trim that and um, I'll go ahead and prepare the sentiment. Um, I go ahead and I stamp the sentiment on some uh, extra cardstock, white cardstock, um, with Memento Black ink. And then to add a little bit of pop of color, I decided to use my modern label punch. Again, this is a Stampin' Up! product. I think it may have been retired this past year, so I'm sorry if you can't find it. Um, I like this label a lot for um, adding sentiments and just giving the sentiment a little bit more um, detail. So I'm going to cut this out and make this sentiment a banner so that I can add it over that red modern label punch piece. And uh, again, just to add some red, some color to this card, it is a little bit pale at this point. So I'll add um, some glue to that and prop it up. Um, I don't add it, up, add it with foam or anything like that. I just go ahead and glue this piece down. Um, on top of each other and write directly onto the card. And that really completes my card. I hope you like it. It's really simple. And um, again, it was a really quick card. Um, trying to find easy things to do, um, things that anyone can do. So I hope that you like it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All the supplies and tools will be listed below as well as on my blog. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.